and uh, Hello. Uh, this is a interview for the 2015 North American Systemic Constellations Conference coming up in November. And today my guest is Dina Ostrovsky, who is doing a talk in the field of addiction, sharing the experience of running a family constellation programs in addiction rehab center. But first, Dina, everybody wants to know, how do you describe constellations to a stranger? <laughs> yeah, this is such a question. And I think every constellator dream in the US at least dreams that you say, I'm doing family constellation and people recognize what it is and I hope to see it somewhere in the future. But yes, now every time you explain. And for me, I mostly work at this present moment. I work most of the time in a specific community. This is a community of Russian speaking immigrants who live in the New York City area. Uh, the, these people came from the former Soviet Union. So I usually tell them that constellation is a great method to uh, work with. Uh, patterns and blockages which come from the ancestry system, which is, I know, constellation, not only that, but that's how I introduce it. And also I start to talk about, to talk about generational trauma. As the story is, all my communities, these people who came from former Soviet Union and 20th century, there was just crazy. We had revolution, Second World War, uh, Holocaust, Romanian genocide, every, there are a lot of nations, it's not Russians, it's a lot of different nations and huge territory, but everybody encountered huge trauma. So I start to talk how this trauma affect our ancestors two, three generations ago, and how we grew up in this atmosphere of pressure, of fear, and they recognize it because they, they know about it and how it affects our kids. And I bring stories. I have my personal story. I came to Constellation because my daughter was stuck. She could move through this trauma energy. I talk about uh, people, I talk about women, uh, like I tell stories. I tell stories. My recent story is a woman who came to me uh, with a business question, not business question, with basically uh, stories that uh, she's starting a new business, exciting business, choice of her heart, great education, and pretty, you know, practical business. And every time she thinks about money situation, she has a panic attack. No logical, no, her money situation, mom, she didn't have that much pressure with money, so it wasn't any logical connection, and we couldn't find it till uh, she told me that her choice of uh, education was point of no return, and I'm like, what is point of no return? I can't understand that. And then we jumped back into her Holocaust family story, when it was loving, uh, strong loving family, and they had a lot of... Uh, they all died because they had all the choices to run away, but they need to leave somebody behind. It was old grandfather or somebody, and they always made this choice of no return, never leave behind. And I'm still, you know, it's a lot of energy in this story. And when we do a constellation, we look at the story, and when this woman was able to open heart and take the ancestor, her ancestor energy, things changed dramatically in one moment. The next time I told her, I took the critic role and say, you never make it with money. She told why? I'm so strong to have this law. So this is the real story, and it happened and happened over and over in my communities. So that's what I present to people. That's what I tell people. Excellent. Okay. Well, that's great. Now tell us about your upcoming talk. It's going to be Friday, November 13th, 10.30 to 12, mm -hmm. in the field of addiction. Um, okay, um, from 2011 and 2012, I had a great, great chance, great, um, uh, to live in Costa Rica. 
and I worked there for holistic addiction rehab. Rehab was, created, rehab was created by the team of enthusiasts who brought together holistic and Western medicine methods and created this modality to heal addiction. And I was one of the team. So uh, it was a very interesting journey, actually. I don't have experience with addiction, and I never worked with addiction before. And we had another psychologist who was addiction specialist, and I was brought as a, this uh, alternative, holder of alternative modalities. So I work with uh, family constellation process, work therapy, art therapy, nature therapy, many things. Uh, I think constellations was the most challenging in the beginning to introduce. Uh, why? These people with addiction, First, they were really uh, shy and tends to bring the problem, even small description of the problem to the group. Then people with addiction, they have a lot of anxiety, not very much body oriented. So I'll talk about my tricks, exercises, my journey, how I introduce constellation to this community. How, what exercises we did before we entered into the constellation? What kind of a problem we encountered when we did constellation? What kind of patterns we see and how much it different from the general crew with the constellation rules? Uh, what did they learn? Uh, I also, uh, the exercises like what you do if person even suggestion to look at the family system, uh, have the client have the huge rejection and it tells no. My family system is so disgusting, so so awful to me. I don't want to even look at this direction. What you do with it can happen. Uh, what you do with trauma realm, how you you know it's a lot of trauma and it was big sometimes it was big uh, I was very conscious not to re-traumatize person, putting, you know, even playing the constellation in front of So this will be my uh, topics, and I'm very excited to bring it to the community. I think we're excited to see this. Thank you very much. Yeah. That's fabulous. Now, one other question that um, comes up uh, from my... Uh, my other constellators here is uh, how do you practice constellations with self-care? Mm -hmm. I do. I do. I practice constellations with self-care. I, I, I can confess I mix the method with another method. So I work with a process of the psychology and body, uh, body oriented practices. But what I do I usually I have a friend who helps me, and I put I put I have the whole uh, procedure how I do it. I put like as example I'm looking at my business development process out there, right? Right, definitely. I put some I do kind of system constellation for myself. I put some ideas in a paper, what kind of ideas or what kind of directions. Yes, and then. I uh, create a constellation for which is a cheers. Yeah. And it's good. I sometimes I do it myself and I sit and I very cheer and meditate and feel how would I feel it, what kind of energy in this role have? What how it's related to other roles in the field. Then I move and I do this ritual and um, sometimes I have a great insights and 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 it's even better if I have a helper, then, then we can create a whole, we can unfold the whole constellation together. And this is one of my practices which support my class. Oh, that's great. Thank you. That's a great idea. Super. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, one more question. What are you looking mm -hmm. forward to at the conference? You know, uh, I'm looking forward to this conference. <laughs> I'm looking forward to connect to other constellator community. I do connect. I'm 
I do talk to some of the, I, I sometimes I talk to Ed Lynch, but not many, uh, I don't know what's going on out there. I'm kind of sitting here in my Russian American community by myself, de developing new practices, learning something new, but I don't have any ability to share with professionals. So I really needed to have a new friends, Jews, to share it, to, to have this movement of energy between us. Yes, yes. I'm looking forward. We all are, yes, that's great. Oh, well, thank you so much for your time today. I really appreciate it. And uh, we look forward to your workshop again. That's Friday, November 13th, 1030 to 12, in the field of addiction, sharing the experience of running a family constellation program in a rehab center. So Dina, thank you again. And we'll see you very soon in November. Thank you for running this interview. I really, really appreciate this experience. <laughs> Great. We'll see you soon. See thank you. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.